That's right. It's a charity initiative that was started by a student who graduated from West Carteret High School last year. And now three other student volunteers are working to make sure the food pantry stays stocked up. These students take time out of their school day to run the school food pantry. We have a lot of chicken, mm -hmm. ramen, and then the mac and cheese is pretty much situated on this shelf. Basically just for students in our school who maybe are food insecure or need some extra help and they can just come in and take food whenever they need it. It's a small, tight space, a former file room, but now it serves a greater purpose. The students can come into the counseling center and ask a counselor for a backpack and then they can get one and go and fill it with food in the pantry and then they can bring it home with them and then keep bringing it back to school and keep refilling it. The students can also stock up on personal hygiene products. Now, part of the job of the student volunteers is to come into the food pantry a few times during the week, check the dates on the products, and make sure nothing is expired. Last year, judging by the number of packs that went home, we serviced between 60 and 80 students. And the students were some weekly visitors, some monthly visitors, and we had some daily visitors as well. The people that come into the food pantry are anonymous. They don't have to say who they are. So we have a suggestion box where students can write down maybe what kind of food that they want. And we'll read them and we'll try to talk to people that donate food to us. The food pantry is getting positive feedback. I've had some of them in class that have said thank you and have mentioned that they appreciate it. And those students tell me that since they started volunteering at the food pantry, they've come to appreciate the value it brings to their school community. They would love to see their colleagues take advantage of it and also see other schools set up similar pantries for their students. In Moorhead City, Adoria Chumba for News Channel 12.